days we have, whether they turn out to... That brings us to another question about the pre-scientific uh, view that gave rise to this idea, like Paul thinking that Adam was the first man. Nowadays, scientists will not say that Adam was the first man. Like what we think about when we think of man, if we think Homo sapiens, then Homo sapiens go back to about 200,000 uh, years. And uh, some would think that uh, Adam maybe was not even the Homo, Homo sapien. Maybe he was a Homo erectus. In any case, even if we say Homo sapien, uh, then as we trace uh, our genes back, uh, you know, we realize that there was never a time when there was only one man and uh, one woman that could be called human. They were part of a community that uh, would have comprised some seven to, to 10,000 uh, people. We can say that God chose one, and the Islamic view is that God chose Adam. Uh, God chose him, chose him. So he must have been part of the community for God to choose him from out of that community and uh, to make him a prophet to preach to, uh, to the others. So now we come to the story of Adam. The Quran has a unique angle on the story of Adam. The moral of the story includes God's forgiveness and guidance. As Harold Coward writes, although the Quran acknowledges that Adam did indeed sin, his sin was not passed down to all humankind. That's on page 60 of his book, Sin and Salvation in the World Religions. In the Quranic story, Satan whispered to Adam and his wife and caused them to slip from their blissful state. The human couple ate, ate from the tree, the tree of immortality, and became aware of their private parts. What were they to do now? Adam received words of repentance from his Lord. Using these words, the couple prayed, Our Lord, we have wronged our souls. If you do not forgive us and have mercy, we shall be lost. That's mentioned in Surah 7, verse 23. As a result, God forgave Adam. Moreover, God chose Adam, relented towards him, and guided him, according to Surah 7, verse 122. God then declared that uh, guidance will come to humankind from time to time, so that whoever follows that guidance will neither fear nor grieve. Whereas those who turn away from the guidance will face dire consequences in the day, on the day of resurrection, according to Surah 20, verses 122 to 123. This is the correct reference, even when I said Surah 7, verse 122. That should have been Surah 20, verse 122. Thus, uh, the Quranic story is about God's guidance and forgiveness. But if God forgave Adam and Eve, why penalize them by having them exit the garden? The answer is that the couple's exit from the Garden of Eden was not a penalty for sin. Rather, it was a natural outcome of God's original plan to populate the earth with humans. In the Garden, God taught the couple an original lesson before sending them into the world. And the Quran repeats that lesson for us by saying, for example, Children of Adam, do not let Satan seduce you as he did your parents, causing them to leave the garden, stripping them of their garments to expose their nakedness to them. He and his forces can see you from where you cannot see them, according to the Quran, Surah 7, verse 27. Today I woke up singing, thinking of your wondrous plans. Even if we say Homo sapien, uh, then as we trace uh, our genes back, uh, you know, we realize that there was never a time when there was only one man and uh, one woman that could be called human. They were part of a community that uh, would have comprised some seven to, to 10,000 uh, people. We can say that God chose one, and the Islamic view is that God chose Adam. God chose him, chose him. So he must have been part of the community for God to choose him from out of that community and uh, to make him a prophet to preach to, uh, to the others. Uh, the Quranic story is about God's guidance and forgiveness. But if God forgave Adam and Eve, why penalize them by having them exit the garden? The answer is that the couple's exit from the Garden of Eden was not a penalty for sin. Rather, it was a natural outcome of God's original plan to populate the earth with humans. I love the way you saved me, lifting me with mighty 